Decimating our fish population. That is how one diver describes what is happening in the ocean off our coast. It is a problem you may not even realize exists if you're not a diver or maybe an, an avid fisherman, but it is impacting our ecosystem, which affects all of us. So a species of fish is called lionfish are eating far too many of the small fish that grow into the one looks beautiful, you know? And so if you've ever been out snorkeling and maybe see them, you think, oh, what a beautiful fish. Well, it is just as, as I it, Renee Legero helped organize the Northeast Florida Lionfish Roundup and is joining us this morning to explain more about the competition. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I appreciate Thank it. You, for having me. you know, if I could, um, in case our viewers were not watching at 7 40 um, when um, I aired the interview with you and Matt. Would you explain why lionfish are such a threat to our ecosystem? Um, multiple reasons. First, they're not um, a native to our oceans. They come from the Pacific side and now they have infiltrated through the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and now of the Atlantic coast. And they're making their way up and they're mass produced laying thousands of eggs that have a venomous, or not a venomous, but a toxin on their eggs, so not even other fish will eat their eggs. They lay up to 50,000 eggs multiple times a year, and then they eat our, um, like you said, smaller snapper and grouper, and therefore it's reducing our fishermen's um, yeah, what's out there in what's, the water. what's out there for us that we like to eat. Yeah. And so um, they... Um, they don't have any predators and therefore they're mass reproducing and nothing's eating them. And so they just keep they producing. just keep producing. Why is it such a problem for us off our coast? Because you know it's interesting when I you know every year you know I, I go down to the Keys and I don't see any or many down there when we're out snorkeling along reefs. Because we all travel to go down yeah. south. It's beautiful there. It's clearer there. It's a shorter boat ride. Here you have to have a boat to get offshore for a good distance. Um, gas plays into it. The accessibility with having a larger boat if it's a little bit rougher on the days, and. Um, we only have one dive charter, so to say, you know, I would always say that diving off the coast of Jacksonville, who would want to do that when I could go down to the Keys where you have this building beautiful, but if you actually go off the coast of Jacksonville here, it is very beautiful, but it is harder to get to and there's less accessibility. And so the people who are able to go out more often, the water is clear down in the Keys and in South Florida, you know, right. divers know to get rid of these lionfish because Correct. they are indigenous and, and causing so much damage Correct. to the fish population as opposed to off our coast because it's just hard to get out there. It's hard to get out there. And to die for them. Now you you actually dove over the weekend and and could you explain what you're seeing and how many you caught because there's <laughs> such a problem? Um, it was hard to get out on this past Sunday because the weather with the um, waves were a little harder. So if you do have a smaller boat, like I said, the accessibility to get out there is a little harder. Um, we have a nice um, boat to get out on. And when we went out, we were only able to get two dives in and there was two of us shooting lionfish and with two dives and two divers, we were able to get 58 lionfish. In just a day. And we could have gotten more, but we can only fit so much into our container. So you brought the container, brought the container. and that's container. essentially what's used as we see Correct. in a video actually that Matt, Matt Myers provided to us Correct. who's a local diver and also owns a local dive shop. Let's talk a little bit about the tournament because you and, and Matt both felt really so moved by you know this problem that so many of us don't realize exists uh, that you're holding a tournament it's on saturday morning would you okay how do you register um <laughs> does it cost any money to explain if you will the prizes as well um you can register as late as um friday evening um it's uh, northeastfloridalionfish.com is a registration site. If you don't ha wanna go on the computer, you can come to our captain's meeting, which is happening at the community center in Mayport, which is on 4870 Ocean Street. Um, and uh, it's $35 to enter. And with um, having this event, FWC is a huge sponsor in this, trying to promote education and to relieve some of the um, pressure of the lionfish off of our coast. And so we have cash prizes, we have prizes that have been donated through Matt's um, dive shop and through the FWC and some of our local divers. Um. So cash prizes, the most caught. The most caught, right. 
the largest and the smallest. And, and then it starts at 6.30. Do, do the, anybody who has a boat, do they have to come to a location and kind of check in? Or can they just go out at a certain, you know, starting at 6.30 and then be back in enough I time? I say the pool is open at 6.30. So if you want to be out there in the water at 6.30, then get out there at 6.30. But you have to be checked in at 4 o'clock at the Mayport dock. And that's when our um, offshore fishing club um, have members that are going to be checking in the fish for us. Okay. All right. Well, let's make sure everybody has that information. Renee, thank you for being yes, here. Thank you and we so appreciate much for you me. and Matt both for sharing this. I, I mean, I grew up at the beach, you know, <laughs> we're neighbors, and I had no idea that this was such a problem in our area. Yeah. So I appreciate you uh, very much. So, again, the Northeast Florida Lionfish Roundup. It is Saturday, starts at 6 30, ends at 4. Find that registration inside the story that's posted right now on our website, newsforjacks.com.